Hewitt on the double bass. And that was Mr. Drew Wakefield on the guitar. Yeah, so I, uh, the great thing about having students here is I can have them back me up and I don't have to pay them, so it's great. They don't know that, but you know, sorry guys. I'll buy you a coffee later. Uh, so if you're here, this is uh, Jam Session 101, I'm calling it. Um, 
the last few years I've done clinics here, both in person, virtual and stuff. And one of the things I always want is to have people come up and play. And what ends up happening is we get into some detail stuff. We talk about improvisation, we talk about solo, we talk about how to do all this great stuff. We get great questions. And then it's like, all right, get your instruments. Let's get up here and play. We have five minutes and there's 40 people with instruments. So um, in order to, to not do that, I figure let's just do a jam session. But there's gonna be some rules to this jam session. So how many of you have ever been to a jazz jam session before, like not at your school? Like outside of school, maybe somewhere? Okay, a few people. And uh, there you go. And um, so one of the things about a jam session, at its core, if, if, how many people don't know what a jazz jam session really is? Don't be afraid to, yeah, raise your hand, that's okay. Great, I'm gonna tell you. So basically, when you see bands play on stage, right? You see a performance, they're on stage, whether it's a small group, a big group, whatever. And um, they're, they're preparing a performance. What a jam session is, especially, I mean, you can have jazz jam sessions, you can have blues jam sessions, rock jam sessions, but basically it's a bunch of people getting together, random people who may or may not know each other, and forming bands on the spot. So we're forming an ensemble here on the spot with a, and here's where kind of the parameters come in, with a shared language of the music. So how many of you know what, how many people have ever heard of the term jazz standard? or jazz standards, great, good. So the reason why we call them standards, they weren't called standards when they were written, they were just songs. So we have jazz standards, so over the time there's this kind of collective, this shared knowledge of songs that is kind of like, okay, yeah, you know a blues, okay, let's play blues, and F, oh, what melody? Billy's Bounce, Ball Provog, or Now's the Time. There's a shared language of, of music, and that's how you're able to do this. So for the few of you who raised your hand and said you didn't know what a jazz jam session was, um, it's basically creating an ensemble on the spot. Okay, and the question is then, okay, how do we do that? Well, does anybody know the name of the song that we just played? What is it? Uh, Blue, Monk. Blue Monk by Thelonious Monk, very good. What's the form of that song? The chord change form? Blues, blues. very good, that's a good guess. <laughs> yeah, it's a 12 bar blues, right? Which is it's kind of the most common chord progression you're gonna find in jazz and other styles of music. Um, so up here, like I played the melody, but if anybody knows the melody, I didn't play it the way it's written. And on the chords, you're, you know, you're just playing a blues, right? You're not really thinking about every individual voicing, you're gonna change it depending on. You know, same thing with the bass. You're walking, you're just reading chord changes, right? So he's gonna be walking a bass line. So there's a shared language of like what we're doing. Also, even the drummer, this, how many of you are drummers in here? Oh, you might be playing a lot. <laughs> so, well, so I was gonna say, even the drummers need to know what the form of the song is. Okay, why should the drummers know the form of the song? Lost. There you go. Very good. Yeah, it's a very, it's it's a it's a common thing, but a lot of people don't think about. It. They go, oh, I know the tempo and the feel. I'm good. And then they're doing fills into bar, you know, seven when it should be into bar one or five or something. So um, that's the deal with that. So um, that's a quick overview of what a jam session is, how you put it together. I actually have a couple real books up here to help you guys out. So I have uh, one in B flat, one in E flat, uh, concert pitch uh, treble, and then a concert pitch bass clef. So if you play some of these instruments, read off the sheet if you don't know the tune. Um, one of the other things I wanted to do up here today is also talk about etiquette at a jam session. If you ever go out to a, a jam session in your lives, there's certain etiquette to go through, right? So if right now I said, all right, let's go, everybody come up. Everybody's gonna run up here and it's gonna be chaos. So we're gonna kind of like, I'm gonna do a little bit of managing here. I see a lot of saxophones. I see a lot of saxophones, okay? It scares me a bit. A lot of sax, how many people in here have an instrument that's not a saxophone that they're ready to play? What do you got, flute? What, do you, what are you guys doing? I told you not to come here. Trumpet, cool, what do we got? What instrument is that? Trumpet, very cool. Okay, so at certain jam sessions, you might have a sign up when you walk in and you'll put your name and your instrument. And if I did that, what I would do right now is I would take the sign up sheet and I'd say, ooh, let's get, and I would pick maybe a few saxophones, a trumpet, a two, whatever, uh, rhythm section players, and then we'd go on. So for now, what I'm gonna say is, who would like to play the next song? And no, I'm not telling you what the next song is. Who would like to play it though? Great, great, come on up. Everybody raise your hand came up, it wasn't that many of you. This isn't strategic, you can play more than one too. So like, <laughs> do we have any rhythm section players in here? Keyboard, great, yeah. We don't have anybody on keyboard right now. Use uh, this one, use this one. You're good? Okay, well you got an arm wrestle or something for it, I don't know. Uh, no, this one, this one. That one's not plugged in. Yeah, you can take the bench for it. Cool, all right. So what do we got? We got a trumpet, we got an alto, we got a tenor. We got no bass players in here? Oh, you want to, Charlie, come on, let's go. Sorry, you got kicked off. Charlie. Are you here till, are you free till when? <laughs> Perfect, great. Make your mom do dirty work for you, love it. <laughs> okay, now.
now, here's my favorite part of every jam session. All right, let's see you guys want to play. Let's play blues. Let's play something else. Noticing this is kind of how it works. You literally get up there and say, What do we what do you want to play? Somebody said, Who gets it? The drummer. It's a really cool tune. Not the not, not the best of the situation, I think. Uh, Charlie said, What did you say 26 2? It's just you know that, that's muted now, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's yeah, not for this. So all of me, how many people know the song All of Me? You might know it more after you hear. Great. Are we doing it? Awesome. Ooh. I mean, yeah. Is it major? Concert C major? Yes, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So you play the first two, we play. You play the first two, we play. No, thank you, Bill. You're free to go. So, literally, this is kind of what I want it to be. I want it to be a jam session. I'm going to give you like a play by play. So, right now, I think they're figuring out who's playing the melody where. Because if you get nine people up here, just hearing the melody in unison, because remember, these are not charts written out like your band would. There's not like a second trumpet part or a third. There's not second tenor. It's just the melody in a certain key. Okay. Figure it out. Usually, see, singing it. Very good. Like that. You get an A in jam session. A great means nothing, but, you know, it's there. Are we ready? Now, are we starting right on it? Yeah? Great. You guys got it? Count it off.
Um, what's your name? Miles. Miles. What school are you from? Miracosa. Miracosa High School. Mir Miles on Alpha Tech. What grade are you in? Woo, senior. What's your name? Miguel. Miguel, what school? Ransom. Ransom. That's from Florida, right? Very cool. What grade are you in? Senior. Round of applause for the seniors. Woo! Name? Dylan McKenzie. What, what school are you from? Middle school. What grade are you in? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Give it up for him. I got to check his birth certificate. I don't know about that. <laughs> and what's your name? Sorry, you gotta say that. Mike. That sounds it's way too cool for me to say. Santi Sarceda from Ransom Everglades. Ransom Everglades. What grade are you in? Senior. Senior. Woo! Give it up for these guys. Um, so let's take a seat now and let's get more people up. So once we cycle through everybody who wants to play, then we'll we'll have people come back up that want to play. Okay, we should have plenty of time. We're actually this isn't a normal Dave Pollock clinic because it's actually like started on time and it's going on time. So that's great. <laughs> I can keep time on the saxophone, but not in my, <laughs> not in my calendar. So uh, that's cool. So um, what did we do at the end? Can somebody tell me what, well, actually, so we took solos, right? And here's a little tip, especially for, where's Dylan? Dylan, in a situation like this, the two people before you took, how long was their solo? One chorus. One chorus, right? And so when you look around, and this is a reading the room thing, if you're the only horn player at a jam session, you can take 10 courses if you want, it's fine. But when we have a lot of people there and they take one each, just keep that same thing going, because especially in a tune this long, it's a 32 bar form, it's, you know. Um, so it's kind of long, so you make sure you just take the one. But what do we do after the solos? What did I do? I didn't take a full solo. I traded, right, with the drums. So when did we decide that? When I walked over here, I was like, hey, let's just let me trade with the drums. And when I say, let's trade fours, I say that to you. What does that mean? To, what do you instantly think? Like, what are you going to do? Yeah, so if traditionally, and once again a shared language, if we're doing like trading, the horn player would trade first because we're better than drummers. So, um, <laughs> listen, nobody else said they were drumming here and the only drummer is staring at my back so I can say it. So, <laughs> this is a comedy show too, I don't know if you guys got that by now, but, uh, um, but no, give it up for Owen again on the drums, everybody. <laughs> Owen, what grade are you in? Junior year, Princeton High School. Charlie Allen from the University of the Arts. Sign up for something. Here, your sales pitch, go. Uh, apply to University of the Arts. <laughs> there you go. You hear that, middle schoolers? Apply to University of the Arts. Where are you when you get home today? Uh, do you have any summer camps and stuff? Yeah, we have free college programs. There you go. You, you can get credits. And then, uh... Sweet. College credits, love it. Um, so that's a great thing. So let's get some more people up here. Let's get some more people up. Oh, by the way, how did I tell everybody we were doing the melody at the end? What did I do? I didn't say it. I pointed to who? Yeah, point it up here. That means the head, the top, the beginning. Okay, uh, great. Who else wants to play? People who didn't play yet. Come on up, just stand up. Okay, the flute, front row, you're up. I'm gonna start calling people. You're about to be voluntold. <laughs> Some of you guys, let's go. Come on, you brought your horn, I mean, right? Unless somebody made you, and then I'm putting you on the spot, in which case, even better. Go, let's get at least three horns. There we go. We got a tenor, alto, we got a flute. Yeah, so, okay. So it depends on what tune we'll play and we'll, we'll make it work. You can maybe take a picture of it, put it on your phone. Listen, yeah, there's, there's only so many things we can bring here. Uh, anybody else want to come up too? We can, we can probably fit one more horn player up here. Anybody? Come on. Eric, 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 let's go. Oh, apparently Eric is coming. Eric, Eric. Listen, when, when fans are calling for you to play, listen, here's, here's, here's the issue. If they go, hey man, mm, put that horn away. We don't want to hear it anymore. That's the issue. If they want you to play, it's a good thing. All right, my favorite part of every jam session. What tune are we playing? Hey, you can include the rhythm section in this, this conversation. Yeah. They're part of the band too. Sometimes. Uh, wait, it's not this one. No, it's not. 
It gets a lot of hate for no reason um, because it is one of the first songs that people learn uh, when they're learning jazz. It's the first bossa nova that people always recommend. It's either that and then like record a May. But blue bossa is a little more uh, approachable, I think. You got it? Oh, look at that. Nice technology. Um, so jam sessions, traditionally, if anybody's heard about like the cutting sessions of the past, they used to be like cut through, like so you can play the most licks, so you can do this. Um, I'm telling you right now, in the real world of jam sessions, if, if you go in with the idea of like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna show everybody what I got, I'm gonna play all my stuff, everybody's gonna know that, and they're instantly gonna kind of like, uh, you know, think of you differently. Instead, you can still play all your cool stuff, but here's the most important thing, making music, making music. So part of a jam session, you've never played with these people before, you have to learn how to adapt and play together. So what we're doing when we talk about the melody, who's gonna play background solos, let's listen to one another. So if the soloist comes in really quiet on a quiet instrument, like a flute, maybe everybody else will listen. Bring it right down, right? So, uh, are we ready? Is it in the book? Check the it table. Kind of book. Oh, you're just searching for other stuff. Great. So you got it? Maybe a little vamp up front. What's a vamp? What's a vamp? What's a vamp in music? You repeat a few chords. Thank you. Yeah, you repeat. It's just a repeat. Musicians like this seem smart, so they, they call it different words. It's called a vamp. It's a repeat. So here's where we're going to vamp. You ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the lead on the rhythm section here. C minor for two bars, D, half diminished, G7. Okay? You got that? Okay. Let's try that. Here we go. So let's let the rhythm section start grooving first. One, and two, and one, two, uh, three, and two.
Awesome job. What's your name on center? What name? You gotta give me name, school, uh, grade, just so we all, you know. No. Nate Paul Albemarle High School, 10th grade. Here we go. Give it up for him. Woo! Go. Sean Albemarle High School, 11th grade. Here we go. Woo! Eric, same school, uh, 11th grade. Eric, same Let me guess, from the outfit, I think. Uh, <laughs> Alexis, same school, senior. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on. I thought flutes don't play jazz. I thought it's only for saxophones and trombones and trumpets. Listen, if we let trombone players play jazz, we have to let flute players play jazz. Come on now. Everybody's catching it today. Any trombone players in here? Oh, sorry about that. No, I'm not. <laughs> What's the name on piano? Uh, Jordan, Bethel High School, 10th grade. Bethel High School, 10th grade. Jordan, give it up. Why don't I get a fan club like that? Just follow me around and play. That's awesome. Jeez, that's great. Okay, so what did, uh, I, we did it last song, but we did it here too. I said, real quick, I said, repeat the last four bars. What is that called at the end when you kind of repeat the last phrase at the end of the last melody maybe a couple times? What's it called? Tag. Tag, very good. Once again, jazz musicians uh, like to make their own slang up, but that was cool. Great job. So that's a bossa nova, and you notice he was playing bossa nova clave on the drum set. Some people say there is no clave in bossa nova, but you know, it's all good. Uh, but what did the drummer Owen do when different people were playing? Anybody notice? Switch surfaces. Switch surfaces, switch, how about brushes, right? We don't always have to, to bash the drum set. Um, we don't always have to play loud and, and changing of dynamic levels is great. That's why I also went over there. And I, it looked like we were about to go down the line of saxophone or woodwind players in the front. I wanted to break it up with the piano solo. So just because you have four horn players doesn't mean you have to have all four solos in a row. You can break it up any way you want. Give him another round of applause. <laughs> all right, let's, let's rotate out. Do we have any other piano players? Come on up. If you want to play, come on up. Do we have any other piano players in here? A drummer? Yeah, come on up if you want to play. Your friend just uh, made you, apparently. If we don't have a piano player or a guitar player, we, you guys, you can come back up again with your... Bye, cram buddies. <laughs> hey, what do you play? Piano. Piano, perfect. Let's do it. Hey, look at this. What are they doing? I, if, if for some of you this is like, you know, I'm being a little <laughs> corny about it, but for some people, they, this is the first jam session they've ever seen, so they're introducing themselves. They don't know each other. We're gonna figure out how to play together. Once again, the horn players are kind of just doing their own thing. They'll just make the rhythm section players do whatever they want. That's cool, I'm into it. Uh, yeah, so we have, there's a B flat. Yeah, you already arranged yourself. What, what are we playing? Take the A train. Take the A train. C, what key, C major? Always talk, another tip. Yeah, this is like, this is what I wanna do. I just wanna run it and give you tips. Always talk in concert key, okay? Always talk in concert key when you're playing with other musicians. Always concert key. I recommend if you're a sax or if you're if you're playing a transposing instrument, you play trumpet, you play clarinet, you play saxophone. I recommend learning to read and transpose concert key. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've played on, especially small group gigs, where they say, "Oh, I only have charts in concert." Is that okay? My answer is always yes. It's totally fine. There's actually a point where I was reading so much concert pitch where I played in a big band and I was playing like lead alto or whatever and I started transposing and the band leader looks over and he's like what are you doing I'm like oh crap sorry I was literally reading it as concert because I was so not used to reading alto key forte play again no no you can play Okay, so in the, in the language of jazz, there's a shared language. There's an intro in this song that is traditionally played. Okay, you don't have to play it, just like you don't have to stop at stop signs, but it's recommended, it's really safe for you to do, it's good in life. <laughs> the fine print for this clinic is, don't take any life advice from me. Um, but yes, you have to play this just like you have to stop at stop signs. Tip your waiters on the way out. Are we ready? Like one more second. One more second. Stall for a little bit longer. Stall. <laughs> Do we have any questions? Question. Yeah, what's up? That's a great question. For those who didn't hear, what is the etiquette of everybody who's not improvising at the time? 
Is it to go on your phone, like Texter Gordon, and just be texting and on your phone? No. Here's what I would recommend doing. If you're not going to be creating a background or playing something, stand off to the side and look at the soloist and enjoy the performance. The great thing about being a horn player at a jam session is you get to like sit back and relax. They have to play the whole time for the most part. They don't get to really enjoy it. But as a horn player, if she takes a solo on alto, we can sit back and like it. And you're, you're allowed to be like, woo, yeah, <laughs> woo, you know. You can react to it. That's a great thing to do is, is just be part of the performance. Don't stand there the whole time waiting for your part to come in. One, two, three, four, one. You can do that. Also, one thing never to do. Here's a big, big red flag. Do not do this because people will be not as gracious as I'm about to be. If, so, if someone is playing, if we're doing it, don't try to figure stuff out in the background. Okay, that is definitely not good. In the background, like, so if, if you're soloing and you're like, oh, I gotta learn the changes. Okay, that works, that works. If you're trying to figure out a background line amongst the, amongst the three of you or whatever, that's cool. But, you know, that time is over. So, are we ready? Great, who's taking the lead up here? Who's counting it in? Yeah, I love it.
you guys. Woo. That was fun. Name, school, grade, go. I'm looking, I play 10th round. In 11th grade, and I play, I go to all the Great. Round plus. <laughs> Next up. I'm Morgan. I play tenor and clarinet, and I go to Mary What'd you play first, tenor and clarinet? Clarinet. Ah, uh, yeah. Good tip out there. If you play clarinet and then switch to saxophone, you're going to be really good at saxophone, because clarinet is super hard compared to saxophone. Way harder. If any saxophone players ever complain about their instruments hard, they're lying. It's the easiest wind instrument to play. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. It, it just is. Play clarinet. That thing is tough. Round of applause right over there. And the big barry sax. Uh, I'm Michaela. I play barry sax, bass clarinet, and I go to Miracle High School. I'm in the 11th grade. There you go. Round of applause. I love, I got to say, sorry to jump in, but uh, the fact that so many guys are doubling is awesome. Did your teacher make you do that? Was that an outside of school thing? Or? We kind of. Kind of have to? So we're all double. Yeah. We were all to play playing English horn, so. <laughs> what did he do to deserve that? <laughs> That's a hard instrument. You're playing that? Yeah. No. Jeez. <laughs> Man. It goes right in the fireplace after that. Here we go. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. To a fan. The, uh, the English Horn Society is going to cancel me now, so it's fine. All seven of them. Go. I'm from Bradford High School, and I play, um, you know. Drums and trombone and sousaphone and <laughs> round of applause. <laughs> What's that? Uh, yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. I'm Sophia. I'm in 11th grade. I go to Ransom, uh, Ransom Everglades School, and I play piano. Awesome. Round of applause. <laughs> and all the drums and the cymbals. I'm uh, Griffin. I'm in 11th grade, and I also go to Ransom Everglades High School. Griffin, round of applause. <laughs> yeah. So. One thing we did, we did something different that time. What was I doing with the horns? What did we get together and kind of do during that drum solo? By the way, they had no idea we were going to do that. We did it today. What did we do? We did some what? Some hits, some backgrounds. Yeah, so I basically told them, all right, we're going to play quarter notes. If I say one, do one will be one. Two, we'll do two. And uh, it's however the, the spirit strikes me during the drum solo is, is how we do that. So that's something you guys could do. You don't always have to think of like, all right, a background line has to be this complicated thing. It could just be hits, right? I, I request all of you uh, to leave here today and go search up, if you don't know Tim Green or Antonio Hart, two alto saxophone players, search up Eternal Triangle on YouTube. It's my favorite, I think it might be my favorite video on the internet. And they're playing it at like nine million beats a minute. But during uh, Tim Green's solo, you see Antonio Hart, the other alto player, start talking to the rhythm section. And they're like lockstep with these backgrounds. He's like, one, four, and it's like perfect. And it's, it's the greatest example of like, playing together in a jam type situation. Very cool. All right, uh, next up. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Another round of applause for them. Great job. Great job. Well, who do we have? What do you want to play? We got time for one more. What time do you want to play? What time do they want to time? No, no, not like 12, 45? Okay. All right, so it looks like we have 10 minutes, so we can either make that two shorter ones or we can do one Mondo jam. One mega big one. I say mega big one, let's get chaotic. If you wanna play, this is your chance. Come on up. Thank you guys for coming. Hope you learned something. Tip your waiters on the way out. Bueller, Bueller. Thanks for coming to the comedy show. See, you guys get it, you know. Everybody else is like, thank you. I need that positive reinforcement. Right, Ani? Yes. Come on up. Let's get this crazy. Yeah, there we go. Only purple tie. Oh, you don't have a purple tie. Sorry, you can't come up. It's like the whole band is here. Did your teacher make you come to this? No, we can't choose whoever wants it. We just have to meet the big ones. Great. And it's like not a specific instrument. So we have one with the hand Great. I lost off the line. You have to see it. Hey, you guys in the back, you haven't played yet? <laughs> you don't want to. Why do you have your horns? Wait, wait, which one's your friend? Your friend's a piano player. Are they, are they, did they come here to play? Them, right? Was that your fan club? Yeah! You don't, you don't even have to play. Yeah. <laughs> so many saxophones, I love it. It's good. 
I don't know. What are we playing? That might not be the most best choice for this right now. Maybe, maybe not. Can we let's let's play something swinging? Let's get something with the energy because with this many people, it's gonna kind of Cherokee. Uh, I don't know. Let's pick something in like a regular key. What about? But you guys just really want to play that tune? Does everybody else want to play it, or is it just you people? What do you think, Charlie? What do you feel? No, 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 not moments notice. <laughs> not for this. Too hip for the room. Shh. <laughs> what do you think? Some swing. That stays in a regular key. No, 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 we got us. What about, what about all the things you, or what about autumn? Blues for Alice. Blues for Alice, perfect. F blues. We love blues. We're trying to get everybody in on this. So now it's bird blues changes, which are gonna be a little trickier, but the blues still work. So. Right now, a normal blues is how many bars? Twelve. Twelve. But blues for Alice is how many? Twelve. Yeah, trick question. You don't have it. <laughs> you don't have it in there? Oh, you bet. Cool. We can do the most jam tune of all time and play Sun and Moon for two. What about Sandu? Sandu? Ooh. E flat blues. Oh, I've been to jam sessions where like the song is 10 minutes and there's like 15 minutes in between. The song is 20 minutes and there's like 10 minutes in between. Yeah. Usually there aren't quite this many people left. What are we doing here? Which one? Sandu, you guys have Sandu? Did you check the table count? I don't even know if it's in the front of this That's the problem. Is that in there? What do we do? If you don't have to worry, we can afford it. It's not in the regular record. How many of you know the melody of the sand That one. You ready? Okay, hold on. Pause. Put this way. This is a good teachable moment. You ready? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an executive decision here. With, for time purposes, because the next group in here starts in five minutes. We're, I'm gonna teach you a melody on the spot. This is straight jam session. If you know your concert B flat minor pentatonic, concert B flat minor pentatonic. So on saxophone, G, B flat, C, D, F. On flute and rhythm section, B flat, D flat, E flat, F, A flat. It's basically a B flat blues without the sharp chord. Tenors, C, E flat, F, G, B flat. The melody starts at the top though.
I love that pet shop on fire vibe at the end. Love that. <laughs> okay, real quick, rapid fire. As you walk out, say your name and your school if you didn't come up and say it yet. Go. Lee Bethel High School. Woo! Woo! Ryan Bethel Middle School. Woo! Woo! Oh, you're, 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 ah! you're a veteran. Bird Elmore High School. Woo! Carter Elmore High School. Carter. Woo! Hey, round of applause for everybody. Very cool.